Texas is a land rich and plentiful, no doubt target rich, and has proven to be one of the country's most sought out destinations to hunt wild game. This hunting culture is much more than that of only what an antler score can produce. It's a culture driven by family, values, and the trophy itself is embedded within the experience. <laughs> Texas Trophy Hunters, and we are storytellers. Today's travels take us to the Rocky Creek Ranch, just outside of San Angelo, Texas. This is a special hunt for us, as we get to enjoy the company of two big supporters of TTHA, John Fink and Blake Barnett. Upon arrival, it didn't take long for these guys to hop on the range and make sure they were dialed in for the upcoming hunt. I'm gonna test off this Ruger number one and 275 Rigby. Make sure my Trichicon AccuPoint is still holding a zero with this Hornady the ammo and hopefully encounter some nice whitetail bucks this weekend. Fire in the hole. I've got the special tree to hunt with Mr. John Fink from Trigicon, product manager. It's going to be yeah. fun here in Texas. It is, Blake. I you, appreciate you having me down. I've really been looking forward absolutely. to it. Absolutely. And uh, you're going to be shooting a Ruger as well. 308 with the 308 Tex. Yep. Looking forward to it. Let's check the zero on it. I'm going to shoot the bottom left target. Okay. All right, fire in the hole. Verified the rifle zero here on the range and had to make a slight adjustment in mind, bring the elevation down a little bit, but Really happy with the way the Ruger Hawkeye is shooting. I'm gonna be shooting a 308 on this hunt. Right now I've got it printing about one inch high at 100, which for the distances we're gonna be shooting here should be perfect. Weather-wise, we couldn't have hit it any better. It's been 70, upper 70s, 80 degrees for the last couple of weeks here in Texas. We've had rain and a cold front pushing through. Temperatures are now down in the 50s and we're gonna have some 30s in the morning. So really nice. Wind's really mild. So looking forward to a really good productive evening. Should have some good deer movement and um, conditions are right, that's for sure. So deer will just cooperate. Hopefully they've read the script and do what they're supposed to do. So looking forward to getting this hunt started. Just set it in there, y'all go on. We'll take care of it. There's three right over there. What you're seeing here is Master Guide Jackie Murphy is the master at killing paper wasps, yellow jackets. It's another afternoon and another sit. We just got in the blind. And I believe I just saw my first sign of deer movement out there right now. Overclass skies, no wind, conditions that I like. I don't know, I just, I feel good about this, this hunt. Yeah, there's a doe coming in right now, and she might have just heard that old fallen block lock. I'd have put money on seeing a bunch of nice deer this afternoon. I lost that bet because the conditions are perfect, but it has just been a slow evening. We saw a lot of deer early, mostly does. Most does we've seen on this hunt, actually. The oldest buck we've seen this evening has just been a two-year-old. About 10 minutes left, prime time, but I'm just getting the sinking feeling that it's just not gonna happen. And that's deer hunting, deer being deer. Condition.
conditions can be right, you think you're going to go out and have a really good sit, have a lot of action going on. Come to nine o'clock. Stop. Can you see him right there? Yeah, I got him. He tail kicked. He's down, isn't he? No, he's right there. He's standing up. Where? He's tail flickering. Huh? He's going down. He's tail flickering. He's down. He's down, you see him? Yeah. No, he, okay, yeah, he's down. He's down? Yeah, he's down. That worked out good right here at the last minute. At the last minute. Came in just a big old management and that's gonna look at him up before it gets too dark. Fantastic. <sighs> now I'm shaking, put a little light in the blind here so you can see us. I mean we had about five minutes left of legal shooting light. It got slow. We hadn't seen it during the last 45 minutes. And um, it's big, the big typical six, biggest six point I've ever seen in my life. Just put a hundred right through him. Oh, I'm shaking. <sighs> but I'm gonna get out and go look at him before it gets too dark. Jackie will be here to pick us up here probably in about 10, 15 minutes. Ooh, that came together perfectly. What a deer, I can't wait to get my hands on him. Let's go look at him. We'll need it just in case. We saw a deer go down, but just in case, you just never know. This ranch has a intensive management program. I think I might have mentioned earlier that the deer is enrolled in the Texas MLD program, so the managed land program. And, uh, they take these big mature management bucks, these big six points, these big seven points. It only enhances the herd for better quality genetics. And the type of deer they want to get off the range. Truly a special opportunity for me though, because this is a heck of a six point. I think any deer hunter would be happy with it. So that is a six point, boys. Look at that deer. That is a management deer. And that's a heck of a management deer. And that is a trophy, honestly, to a lot of people. But here in Texas, a lot of private landowners take their whitetail deer management serious. This is over 20,000 acres that we're on. It's low fence. These are free range native deer. They've done an excellent job managing their buck to doe ratio population and uh but these are the bucks that they definitely don't want breeding in the herd and by far that's the biggest six point i've ever seen in my life in my entire hunting career and i am absolutely tickled with him whether i see a big mature trophy deer on this hunt or not i will be happy with that deer forever <laughs> golly look at that deer set this ruger down it's safe Look at this, unbelievable. So we just got out of the blind. Blake and I were only hunting about a half mile apart and right here at dark as we were getting out of the blind, still still shooting time left, we heard Blake shoot. So now we're gonna go uh, check out and hopefully see the buck that he shot. No, 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 Greg. I have, I have an agreement I can't manage to deal with Greg and I haven't texted him, but that's that's a big six point I've ever seen in my life. Is that the same six you no, saw last no. night or a different one? <laughs> no. He said that he had bladed. That this one's, one's they're about the same size. The other one's bladed on two. Right. <laughs> and he walked in by himself. It's been a slow evening for us. We had does earlier and some young bugs. Very cool. We were actually uh, fixing to kind of give it a wrap up and I yeah, looked we... up and he walked up. And I said, God, it's another big six point. Yes, it I'll is. Be damned. Congratulations. Thank you. That is awesome. I'm just tickled to death with him. I truly <laughs> am. Yeah. I mean, that sucker, I'll show him off forever. 
Yeah, that you don't see many big old six points euro. like that. That that'll be a great euro. I killed a seven in South Texas that was similar to you know about the same size, but I I had never seen you know two big six points yeah, on the same hunt. Yeah, I shot my first deer when I was six years old. So for forty years I've been hunting white-tailed deer, and that is you just don't see big typical clean six points like that everywhere. And my mentor and best friend is Mr. Larry Wysoon, and I can promise you he will be just as proud of that deer, even though he didn't he didn't kill it and I did. And he'll probably be jealous as well, because I know he's always wanted to kill a big six point. And it happened for me tonight. I love him. I'll tell you what, that, I had buck fever so hard after I pulled the trigger on him as I would a 170 inch deer. I'm not lying. Look at that. What a cool buck. You know, we heard Blake shoot and we got over here, excited to see what he'd shot. And I'm just tickled to death with, with the deer that he shot. Blake saw a really nice six point last night. And, you know, for a lot of us who have deer hunted for years, I mean, a big six is just a really hard deer to come by. You hardly ever see one. Blake happened to be sitting in another blind last night and saw a big six over there. He was over here tonight and saw another big six. And uh, so he ended up shooting this one, made a good clean shot on it. Shooting that 275 rig being just couldn't have worked out any better. So tickled to death for, for Blake and the way this happened here tonight. So and really cool to see another big six pointer. Management efforts play a vital role of any successful ranch. And anyone that knows Blake knows he's thrilled to play a small part in conservation. Yeah, just a straight clean six-point. Holy cow, he is a big yeah, old six-point. That's, that's a good six. Oh, he needed to be shot for sure. Yeah, I mean, that is yeah, a classic advantage, buddy. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> wow. I would more agree with that. management than that. What do you think no, that inside gorgeous. spread is there? Huh? What do you think that inside spread is on that thing? Mm, 14. 14 and a half, 15. 14 and a half, 15. Probably 15. These deer have little ears. So yeah, probably fit there. Can I have your hunting license? That's a big old six. That is a big six. <laughs> I'm cool. That that is the definition of management. It was an absolute <laughs> pleasure for our crew to be in camp with John Fink and Blake Barnett at the Rocky Creek Ranch. They say a trophy is in the eye of the beholder, and in this story, Blake was not only able to help out the ranch, but also harvest his largest six point to date. Now I'm just guessing, but if you ask Blake if he would ever return to this ranch, his response would be, absolutely. Even in a small town. Even in a small town